Okay, hello there, Carson. Welcome. Welcome to making the video game called Wraithbinder. I'm your god, Nathaniel, aka Wizard Boo, and check it out. Look at this. I've been working on some UI improvements. One thing we got new is these the liquid in the bobbles sloshes around with your movement as you use abilities and stuff like that. It starts sloshing more and more, and then as you stop doing stuff, it returns back to a nice equilibrium. Isn't that neat? Also, those lick that liquid in the bobbles there is twice the resolution it used to be, so it looks crisper, cleaner, nicer. And then every single font you see on this screen has been doubled in its resolution as well. Everything down to where it says level one at the bottom, to NMW at the top there, to the buttons on the left side of the screen, the text on the right side of the screen, everything is twice the resolution. And then another new thing is the top player portrait where it's above in the very center top of the screen. It says NMW and my player has a portrait of my player. That's also a high resolution model. So we took the, or I took, whenever I say we, I mean you and me, you know what I mean, person? Just me making this video game. So pardon me saying the word we. But this has the, there's this been this, 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 this thing here where it's rendering the characters in high resolution is now a technology, a thing I can use to just basically capture any one of those and apply that to like the player portrait or an ability icon or anything. We can even, we can even take that and use it to make better quality icons for these, which we will be doing here in a second. So that's what we've been doing lately. I've, <laughs> we is in me and you. Hey, sushi gamers. What's up, buddy? How are you? All right, so let's continue the work. We we were making this this sword and all these ability icons on the left, higher quality, and that is looking better. Also, we made it so the Z ordering was a little bit nicer, and the the cursor icon for the ability is a little bit tighter as well. Let's make sure that cursor icon got rendered correctly. Let's go into this Photoshop application, and what do we got here? Same thing with this. Need to make sure this is all correct. Correct. We're gonna make this cursor icon nice and and nice, like 13 pixels there from the top. Let's make sure when we're make sure this version of this is also that's the, what was that? 12. Okay, we need to make this 13. Yeah, yeah, it's in the right place. Cool. Okay, so we can we're weird. Try to select all those pixels and it's not working. Okay, so we're gonna go Command Shift I and we can delete everything from the cursor. Ooh, looks like we got mirroring on. Turn that mirroring off. That was kind of weird. What? Still doing it. Oh, this is the mirroring. Symmetry off. There we go. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Cool. I just wanted to. I just wanted to erase these nicely. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Cool. Now our icon or our bobble is now visible underneath. Okay, we can flip. Invert that. We should have inverted. What's going on here? Huh? Reason. What? What the heck? I'm drawing, but nothing's happening. Come on. What's going on here? Okay. If I'm on that layer, it works. I'm on this layer. Now it's working. Something was. Uh, very odd there no matter okay so i'm just making sure that this icon fits really tightly with the bobble so it looks at uh, the top quality when it's inside the game Okay, okay. All right, it's looking better to me. We can turn off this bobble now and build that. Build that. There we go. Cool. Save it. And ability cursor is the smaller version. Let's make sure that's looking good too. We're going to copy. We're going to go to this frame of the ability bobble. We're going to copy everything merged. No, maybe not. Maybe we just want to do just this. No, we want both of these layers. Okay, so on our, this is our lower resolution cursor for if a player has selected the pixel mode. Oh, that's what, it, okay, I see what's going on in that last document. Hey, it's that, turn on this bobble. Problem was that we have a certain, we have a gray there, all this gray, get rid of that gray. We don't need that gray there, that's gonna make that easier in the future, and we don't want that. Okay. All right, same thing with this, we're just selecting this gray bit and getting rid of it, and yeah, we can tell that, uh, I can tell that this is, also, there's some issues here with this one, so it's not fitting tightly. The white cursor, all the white pixels are overlapping some of the bobbles. So that's what we're fixing here. All right, so now we're on the first cursor layer, deleting all of these extraneous pixels. Bye-bye, extraneous pixels. And we can invert our selection and draw something nice on the border. Okay, same thing for this layer. Oh, looks like, look at that. This layer's already nice. Oh, so cool. 
All right, this one's done. Sweet. We can now turn off, make sure. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. We turned on. The, this is now the bobble layer, and this is the old bobble layer. Bobble, bobble. Is that right? It's not. Okay, that was our issue before. All right, we're inverting and doing the same technique where we're erasing any pixels that are too too much. Too much pixel. Okie dokie, all good. Build that. And we could double check what we did there in the code. And we're gonna get ready for a, a quick check-in. I'm ready to check this in just about. All right, that's looking good.